Hi guys, Joe from Pepper in the Woods here and today I'm going to unpack my bushcraft bag. As I mentioned on um, my Facebook group, I'm going to try to uh, get rid of a lot of stuff in my bushcraft bag, keep only the bare minimums in it um, and maybe one or two comfy items, but I'm trying to make it a bit lighter. Um, I'm going to upgrade a few items and um, I just want to just want to redo it because sometimes you just oh I need that I need that I need that and then you just end up having a heavy bag which you really don't want. Uh, I'm having loads of health problems lately, which I am um, not like I had the flu. I mean, like proper health problems lately, which are really frustrating me. Um, so I'm hoping to um, sort some issues out, but um, I don't want like my bag weight stopping me from going out and enjoying the time outside. So um, I'm gonna unpack everything, see what I have too much of, like fire kit or whatever, um, and then see what upgrades I can make to make it a little bit lighter. So let's go to the top now and I'll un unpack everything. I'll probably unpack it first, so just to save camera time, and then um, I'll show you guys what I have. So as you can see here at the moment, I'm just sporting a Bergen um, with uh, side pouches on and some um, double blankets on top there. I do have wool blankets I could use. Um, swapped up those blankets for but at the moment I just kept those in there because I usually use them in a, in a hammock setup or something just something a bit soft that I have but let me unpack it now and I'll show you what I'm carrying But here is a long sleeve um, little jumper. But I've noticed that I already have one rolled up into there with my um, blankets. So that can go. Uh, inside my condor, or knockoff condor pouch here, I have the water bottle, the cup, the lid, um, two um, handkerchiefs, some bank line, um, some aspirin, a little bit of wire, a whistle, a spoon, the fish mouth spreaders for the cup, a lighter, a little multi-tool there, um, some potassium pomegranate, whatever you call it, um, some afterbite and a chain for to hang this. So I'm going to get rid of the potassium because I probably wouldn't use that. I'm going to get rid of the red handkerchief as well. Right, so this one here has a water filtering um, mill bag and a SAS book. Um, I'm going to keep those ones. This one here, um, that's the, was it, zebra, no, zebra, alpine stowaway pot. But um, I'm going to get rid of this one as well, because um, I, I think I have too much cooking stuff, and that's a little bag I had it in. So, that pot can go. Um, that's my fire kit here. Um, it has some basic stuff. I wouldn't say anything uh, or doubles of. Probably some wax sticks and stuff, but some traditional stuff in there as well as, you know, uh, normal. Uh, just wax wood, fat wood kind of thing. Monica, I'm going to keep that. Um, I have two smogs over here. I'm going to keep, get rid of this one and keep that one. Waterproof trousers, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, gloves. I have a tendency of cutting myself, so I'm going to um, get rid of these ones and keep this one. This one's the one I mentioned on Wish, that was actually pretty good. But um, these ones are beaten up as hell anyway, so I'll get rid of those. Right. Here I have my um, Soya Mini, so I'm going to keep that one. This here is one of those pop-up ones that um, you use to... Uh, clean your utensils and stuff after you use them but to be honest I never use that one that might be good for maybe when you take everybody out camping um, kind of thing but at the moment I haven't used it I usually just take my dirty stuff toss it into a wet dry bag and then clean it when I get back to um, back home so I'm probably gonna keep doing that so I'm not gonna need that one right this is my Yugo mess kit um, nothing wrong with it good kit well used um, I think everybody's seen one of these before already, but um, I'm going to upgrade on this. You know, it has the utensils in here, um, the little bit of um, lid I made for it, 
and some water tablets and stuff, but I'm going to scrap that one as well. So that's gone. Right. Um, large spoon. I like this one for eating out of um, MRE bags and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep that for now. Now this one here has a cook kit. I'm a bit on the fence with that one. Um, it's a really good um, system, but there is a little bit of weight to it. And I'll show you why. So I got XL cubes. I got some large wipes. Um, just some stuff to do, like you know, tarps and stuff. Um, clean the pots and pans. I got some flat head um, tent pegs uh, for putting pots on if you want to do it over a fire. Um, but this one here, that's my brew kit. Oil, salt, sugar. But that one there, it looks well beat up, right? But it has holes in the sides. So I do my fire on here so it's not scarring the floor and I can control the fire. I'm not wasting any wood as well because it's all contained in here. It's nothing's falling over. But also, I can wear a glove. I can move the fire where I want to. So say that it was suddenly raining, I can put it inside the tent uh, inside the shelter or wherever and then this comes over and I put my pot and pan on there and I cook off that so that's what I've been doing so far but I might um, swap this one out um, for something else which I'll show you near the end um, only because um, I want to lighten this up a bit more uh, I have a cutting board here small mini cutting board um, small little kitchen knife and just some utensils and stuff um, and that one so I'll go through that one later on as well but that's just that bag All right, this one this is the phantom stove uh, from polymath products uh, I really like this one uh, the problem I have is, is because it rains so much over here a lot of the times um, the wood's really wet it's hard to start a fire so I put this one in this container here and I put my fuel in it with it uh, with these little travel containers and also in a bag so in case it leaks there's also a windshield in here as well so I want to have a second source of fire right, so that's that one that was all in that one cup wise I got one little plastic cup and one titanium cup just in case I have some company so I'll keep those two okay first aid kit I have a good size first aid kit here uh, I am accident prone but I do have everything in there um, that I need it needs a little bit of a tidy up but everything's in there one trauma bandage so I'll keep that some tent pegs this one here um, and this one you have some 550 core, I got some orange one, bank line, a sewing kit. So that's pretty much my cordage kit. But at the same time, so was this one. See there's loads of cordage in this one as well. So that can go. Uh, I've got two bungees in case I want to put stuff to my pack. So that's there. Got one head torch, one bag for anything dirty. Um, now for cutting tools, right, got my condor hatchet, um, I do like that one, I need a bit, a bit more practice with it but I do like it. Um, then I have the, for a thin knife, a gun for the Garberg, a uh, nice full tang thin knife to mess with, so I do like that one. For my heavy duty workhorse knife. I still like this one. This is my still go-to, my Puko. Very nice knife. Always keep that one sharp. And then for my small little whittling one, um, same company. That one there. Really nice knife. So those are my cutting tools I take with me. All right, now I got a little bug net, so nothing bothers me when I'm sleeping. I got a. Um, neck uh, cover thingy you know what it is a uh, little sit mat these are some gators so I'm going through some dick bush, uh, thick bushes um, it just protects my leg a little bit better that one there's a poncho that one there is my go-to top for say if I'm doing a hammock 
which my hammock is over here. Um, this one I mainly use for um, the ground. If I rips get dirty, I don't care. It's just a cheap one. If I'm going for a tent, um, that's my little pup tent. Um, I like that one better than my lavu because there's more space in there. I, um, I can lay down and relax in that one. So obviously I wouldn't bring a, I mean, I can bring the hammock with me because it doesn't take much room and it's really light. Just in case um, the ground's really shit or it's wet um, and I can't use the pup tent, I can go for a hammock and then just, you know, swap them out. Um, that one there is a, is a bit big, it is a bit bulky as, as well, so I might upgrade that one. So that's what I'm looking at. Some people are gonna say, oh, just use your poncho as a cover, but um, that's a lot easier to do. And if it's really raining hard, I'd rather be wearing that than not getting it all dirty than just going to that one. Just a bit easier for me. So let me take away everything. And I'm also gonna add some upgrades now. Nearly forgot this one. Some people are not gonna like it, but you know, that's personal preference down to again. Um, right, so this is my belt. And I, if I'm in the woods or whatever, I'm gonna just, go around, collect wood, or just, you know, have a look about. Um, I have a multi tool in here. Um, it's not an expensive one, but, you know, it does the job. I have this very nice leather uh, pouch, which again has a notebook, um, a little bit of fire starter stuff in there, and some other bits and bobs, uh, just in case I want to take notes or, you know, look at stuff better and that kind of shit. So that's that one. This one here, um, Nice pouch from Military First. Um, again, it has a little torch and some rope and stuff. I'm gonna have to have a clear out on this well because I don't want rope everywhere. Um, it has a knife sharpener, all that kind of stuff in there. But this is just like an extra kind of add-on stuff. This this one here, really, really nice. I haven't done a review on it, but this is my um, uh, condor knife. Very nice. Uh, I'll go into detail with that another time. Um, got my hand saw there, cheap and cheerful. Another pair of gloves, because like I said, I'm always hurting myself. That's in a belt pouch I carry with me, so that's not included in the bag. Alright, so now the kit I'm keeping looks like this. Got my blankets, my cutting tools, my cook set, my first aid kit, my fire kit, all that kind of stuff. The stuff that I pulled out of the bag is a Yugo, the homemade cook fire thingy, some rope, extra pots and pans and all that kind of stuff. So, and the jumper. So that's what I pulled out. So that's gonna make a lot more space and a bag a bit lighter. Now the stuff I wanna add in is, well, I'm gonna swap out this tarp and put a DD Magic Tarp, which I got from Prepare for Adventure. Um, I haven't used that yet, but I want to have a play with that one. So I'm going to pop that one in there. And then bush, Bushcraft Essentials. I'm going to use that as my um, stove, which would take up hardly any room. A um, little bit of weight to it, but not as much as that other thing. So I'm going to use that one. Now for the gut bit of the Yugo. I'm going to use this one, which I've only done a video on it, haven't used it yet, but the storage inside of here, um, it can't store water like the Yugo, but that's fine because I have my Pathfinder bottle anyway, but I can store a lot of my cooking stuff in here and then also um, in there. So this whole thing can be storage. So I think that's a big plus for space wise. Um, and this is a bit more versatile anyway. so. I like that. Again, this is everything swapped out now. And my pack should be lighter and have more space in it. I'll know that once I repack this now. And then again, that's everything I got rid of, which is quite a bit. So this stuff will probably be up for sale or trade or something on my eBay or Facebook group. So that's my kit at the moment. I'm going to have to go and test out the new stuff 
like the cooker and the stove and all the rest of it so I'll have a plate with that one um, but like I said if you want a good deal first check my Facebook group because I'm always selling stuff on there I have a ton of stuff that I want to get rid of um, and then from there if you're not interested in that it goes to eBay for more money uh, to cover the fees of eBay and PayPal so if you want a good deal quick Facebook um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section um, it's probably going to be a lot of stuff to some of you, but um, I'd rather have you know like an option of having a hammock or a tent, depending upon the weather and the terrain I'm on, than you know just being stuck with a pup tent uh, on a crappy environment. So that's just personal opinion. Uh, I think I have the basics down anyway. I'm sure you guys are going to let me know what I'm missing or what I shouldn't have anyway. Um, sleeping bag. Yes, um, I'm currently, I currently use a sleeping bag at the moment. Um, uh, it's a, um, shit, I forgot the company, but it's a really big sleeping bag. Um, but again, season's changing now, so that'll probably change as well. If I'm planning an overnight, of course, I'm gonna put a sleeping bag in there. Well, I didn't show it, because that's always gonna change anyway. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you next video. Bye.